Hi anglers, it's Vance with Line Cutters and I'm going to show you how to cut a tagline off and how to cut that pesky knot off when you're done with the lure and retiring it. To cut a tagline off, first of all you want to leave about at least that much and, and you'll see in a minute why. And that you want to pinch with your hand, with your fingers and your thumb, and you want to tuck that lure while you're holding on to that line into your hand carefully. There's a hook usually there so be careful. That tension is what we need in order to cut that tag line close. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my ring blade right up against that knot and you can see I can cut it really close. So that's how you cut a tag line. Now when you're done with the lure and you wanna switch a lure, just again use that same principle, pinch that line, hold it, and then cut as close to that knot as possible. So now you see you got that little knot. Now with mono a lot of times I can just pick it off but with braid it's a little more difficult. So what I can do is actually just get a hook, put it in a knot and this is a polymer knot and I can just pull that off and there you have it. We can do the same thing with mono. Now mono let's say we want to get rid of this, we're done with this lure Again, I'm gonna cut as close to that knot as possible. And a lot of times I can just pick it off just like that. If I, weren't, if I wasn't able to pick it off, again, I would use any kind of bait hook I've got and I would just pull, pull that knot off. But I use this ring for heavy mono, heavy braid, down to little 10 pound mono, uh, 15 pound braid and I do not need another cutting tool. So I hope you're enjoying your line cutters ring. Uh, check out more of our videos on YouTube. We've got some awesome cutting demos and thanks for all your support.